Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new, stopping by for the very first time, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. My name is Elizabeth, my channel name is Shy Town Girl. It can be a crazy place here sometimes, you never know what to expect here, but I love to do Dollar Tree hauls, um, all kinds of shopping hauls, DIYs, drag racing, doggies, you name it, I'm into it. All right, I have a brand new Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you, and I have some really cool finds. Halloween, some snack finds, household, health and beauty, a little bit of everything going on here. So every single item in this video came from the same location. That location is located in Newburgh, New York, off of Route 32, over by um, Perkins, Taco Bell, and I think that's a stop and shop in the same shopping center. Every single item, a buck and a coin, a dollar twenty-five. All right, let's jump into this. I have never seen these at my Dollar Tree, let alone. Um, I think this is a bigger size, but I could be wrong. These are home style baking, golden home, uh, baker's ultra crispy, ultra thin pizza crusts, four point seven five ounces. That like I've seen like um, Tostitos and stuff at our store which are about that big, but that was like really big. I actually got a couple of them. Um, it says that it is non-GMO, um, 4.75 ounces. It's good until January 17th of 2024, if you can see it way down there. This comes out of a, um, I know where this place is actually, Appleton, Wisconsin. And um, I don't know, please, please, please tell me, how do these taste? What do you do? It says they're perfect for the grill. Um, I don't know. You know, I do a lot of grilling, but I really want to know if anyone has tried those, please comment down below. Let me know what you make with them. I'm sure you can do more than just pizza, but I thought that was a cool find. Uts, another brand name, Onion and Garlic Crisps. I say crisps because my mom's from England, but they're potato chips. They call them crisps in England. This is a 2.75 ounce package. It is gluten-free if that is an issue for you. It says it right up there. This company has been around forever. They're based out of Pennsylvania. They got good chips. I do enjoy their chips. Okay, let's jump over to... I'm going to show you some Halloween things. They have these plastic... I'm going to call them bowls because to me, these are candy bowls um, for a party or whatever you want it to be. Now, the sticker on the bottom comes off, so don't mind that. Here is the plastic container itself. You can see there's spider webs and bats all over. These are so cute. They have a beveled edge. I'm not sure how well the screen is showing that, kind of probably right up there. They sit up nice and high, so if you want to put goodies and treats in there, or if you're doing popcorn balls, this would be perfect. These are really a nice size. They are 10 and a half inches all the way around. And the height that's going to sit up off your table is just shy of four inches. These are really nice. So they have that one with the spiders. And then they're basically separated up by these little tissues. And then they have this one with the jack-o'-lanterns or the pumpkins, which is really fun to fill up with candy. Also, they had this, if you're into skulls, check out this tray they have. Oh my gosh. There's so much purple going on here. It kind of looks like me, right? Yeah. Um, this is a nice size tray. See all that purple? I love the purple. It just depends on how the light is hitting it. But this is a good size tray. I'm going to say this is over a foot long. Yeah, it's 13 inches at its longest part by nine inches. So if you're into skulls and you're having a party, this would be great for chips or sandwiches or something like that. I found some new potion bottles. These are plastic, which I think is important because you don't have to worry about them breaking. These measure seven inches in height. This one is the clear bottle that says poison right across the top right there. And then they had this purple tinted one that says poison right there. I happen to like this one better, but that's just me because I'm a purple fanatic. But those were the two that I saw. <clears throat> Excuse me. They had these plastic bottles, which could be used for decorative, for candy, for snacks, or if you're setting up a Halloween spooky table. Are these plastic bottles? 
These are also great for crafting. If you do crafts and beads, fill that up. Use that on your desk for, put flowers in it, put pencils in it. It has a removable cork. These again are plastic and they measure from the top of the cork to the bottom of the bottle. They're five inches. They had this brown one, this orange one, and last but not least, this purple tinted one. Also in the Halloween department, and I thought these were so cute. I did get a couple of them because we do a lot of Halloween decorating around um, this area. These are LED. Now these have the batteries in them. Some of the stuff, I would say probably 90% of the stuff does not have batteries anymore, but some stuff still does. This is a LED marquee light. There's basically what the tag says. These are adorable. They measure five inches in length and four inches in height. I found the pumpkin. Now these are all lights. So what I'm gonna do is pull the tab and show you. I don't know how good it's gonna show up in this room, but let me do the best I can for you. So there's a little switch in the back you turn on. Oh, how cute is that? So there it is. Now mind you, you're in a lit room. So when it's darker, I'm sure it's gonna be even more cute. So there is the pumpkin. They also had this ghost, and I got a couple of these. Let me measure this ghost for you. The ghost measures four inches by five inches at its widest part. I had me a hair in there, and that is the ghost. Now, these are wide enough at the bottom that they will stand up on their own. Let me pull the tab out of this one and light it up for you. There is the ghost. Now again, because of my lights in the house here, but there is the ghost. Isn't that just too cute? Oh my gosh. Also on the back, if you wanted to put this on your wall, there's right here and right here. They also have it on the back of the pumpkin. So if you wanted to mount this on a wall, you absolutely could. How cute are those for a buck and a coin, right? All right, let me put my tabs in my candy bowl here or I'm gonna lose them. All right, also with Halloween, I picked up a couple more of these little tea lights. These are the two and a half, or actually they're two, 2.1 inches high. These are the sets of the little tea light ghosts. I picked up two more packages because the ones that I had are already out of the house and gone. Um, <laughs> the neighbor next door came over and she's like, oh, I was like, go ahead, go ahead. I assumed it. Um, so I always hook her up too. But there we go. And then I saw these ghosts. And I'm guilty. I got three of them. So let me put these back here and I'm going to show you this ghost. Dollar Tree last year and several years prior had been doing this ceramic ghost that was about this high with the really big eyes. And when you lit it up, you really couldn't tell it was a ghost. In my opinion, this year they downsized that ghost. It is so much cuter. How cute would this be on a tiered tray on a mantelpiece? So I'm going to show you all the way around. The measurement of this little dude is just shy of four inches. This does have a battery in it. Let me turn it on and show you. I just love this. How cute is that? It's not going to change colors, which I like that fact. It's just a cute spooky little ghost and your lights shoot out from the back because you do have cutouts there in the back. Isn't that just adorable? How cute for a tiered tray. How cute to put on your kitchen counter, um, maybe with a, a, a tiered tray and a basket full of goodies. I just love it. So I did, I got three of them. I'm so, I'm totally guilty, but I'm sure one will go to the neighbor next door. All right, let's go over to some things I found in the, beauty section because I have a whole load here and I'm looking at my time going oh my goodness all right I showed you the Barbasol hair clupper kits I showed you the Barbasol tweezer kits I showed you the brush kits now to match with all that so say you're doing a bag or a box for somebody for the holiday and it's for you know a gentleman and you want to do all the Barbasol stuff there's so much matching stuff at Dollar Tree 
They had these five ounces and I only grabbed two different scents. This one is Sensitive Skin. That's the Barbasol and it matches those packages perfectly. This one here is Soothing Aloe. So I think what I'm gonna end up doing is, cause I told you I had those two for grandpa. I think I'm gonna put, cause you know, he still does his shaving. I actually cut grandpa's hair. I'll be cutting his hair in the next couple of days. And I do his eyebrows for him and all that kind of stuff. But I thought I'd put a little kit together for him and put it away for the holidays. So yeah, so I grabbed two more of those. Well, not two more, but more Barbasol products actually. I also picked up this Speed Stick Power of Nature Avalanche. Grandpa likes this. Um, this is the 1.8 ounces, so I got that for him as well. And then I found some of these, which were out not too long ago. I had a couple different styles. These ones I hadn't seen. These are the Care US First Aid Kit 21 count piece, and it's got these really cute tins. So this tin right here is kind of like all about flowers. Let me see if I can get it out of here. There we go. Let me show you the actual tin and what's in here. I'm going to slide it out. All right. So this one is all about the beach, beach bumming, sunglasses. There's a cute little turtle on the back. This is perfect for traveling. Um, I was looking at hotels last night for my Rhode Island trip, but you know, I'm thinking I might do New Hampshire. I'm not sure. I'm hung up between the two. Anyways, you're going to get some tape and then you're going to get a set of all different assorted cool, look at these cool looking band-aids. I mean, come on, are those the shizzle or what? So you're going to get a bunch of cool band-aids and your tape. It's all going to go in this cute little container, cute to take to school, cute to have in a desk at work if you need it. Anyways, I also picked up this design right here. And this one right here that has all these smiley faces all over it. Each case has 21 pieces in there. Thought that was a great buy. All right, also in the beauty section, they had these, and I've never heard of this company before. Um, it's a distributed by Ladybird, and it's Ladybird 100 Artificial Nails. 100! Look at that case. Look at all those different sizes. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of each one. I picked up two cases. Even though, you know, I get my nails done and stuff like that, you never know. My daughter flipped out over these. I got a couple for her because she does her nails like this. Um, so, yeah, a hundred in each one. You couldn't go wrong. Grab them right away. They also had some more lipsticks. Oh my gosh. I don't even know how to describe what they're doing because I don't even know what they're doing. If they're getting ready maybe to do a reset or something, but there's the makeup sections in a lot of the stores that are like around my area. They're all just hodgepodge. There's all these plastic totes and bins and I don't know. There's just all kinds of stuff just from all different types of manufacturers. All right, so let me see what we have here. Let's start with this one. This is by CoverGirl. This is just one of the bazillion lipsticks and glosses that I have scored lately. It's insane how much I've collected over the past month. This is number 220, Vibrant Things. CoverGirl Melting Pot. There it is. I know dang well you would not score this for under 10 bucks not here in new york state you wouldn't there is your applicator i call it that like little piece of pie shape because that looks like a little piece of pie to me and i'm just going to do one swatch there it is if that's not colorful i don't know what is that's an awesome color all right then i saw a different kind of tube that looks like this and i was like all right that's like really different a lot of these are so hard to see in the packaging. All right, this one is CoverGirl Exhibitionist Lip Gloss. Hmm. Number 190, and the color is Pixie. Here is this tube, and then here's the tube I just showed you again, just so you can see the difference 
in all the different tubes. All right, let's see what this one has. There is your wand. Let me do it again, because I really didn't like go like that. There you go, right there. More of a um, coral kind of peachy color, which is very pretty. All right, what else did I find here? Here's another style tube. Let's see what this is. I'm gonna have to do another video because I'm looking on the floor going, I still have Halloween. I still have some household decor, um, some Bath and Beauty. Oi, all right, let's open this one here. But I do love spending time with all of you guys. You have no idea. I've had a really difficult past three weeks. I won't get into it now. Um, my world's been really, really crazy. All right, L'Oreal. So we went from CoverGirl. Now we're into L'Oreal. There is the tube. This one. Hey, Beth. All right, I'm not helping you too much with the color here because I can't really see one. But let's check it out. There's that other type of applicator. Looks more like um, a piece of pie, actually. And we're gonna go right here. Bam, ooh, that's pretty. I like that. So there you go, right there. That in my mind here, if I was to go out into the stores and check out these, I bet I would pay more than 30 bucks. Probably more than that, probably more than like 35 for that instead of 375 plus tax. Crazy! All right, everybody, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. I got a whole bunch more going on, but today's Tuesday, right? So I could technically go back to old school and do a two for Tuesday. I got so much going on. Clothing I'm gonna share with you. Um, whoo, there's just a lot going on. Don't snooze, you're gonna lose with a lot of these things at Dollar Tree. Keep an eye out for all the makeups. They're awesome. Till next time, everybody. Thumbs up would be great. Bye for now.